We continue to track severe weather tonight. A severe thunderstorm warning continues around Anderson County, moving out of Greenville County now, but we still have a lot of heavy rain uh, coming down around Greenville, moving off to the west of Spartanburg. So let's get a closer zoom of where this severe thunderstorm warning is located. That's basically just north of Williamston, near Piedmont, over toward Pelzer, and that's going to be shifting on toward the south and west. So that's going to take it right along I-85. Could be impacting areas like Clemson. So be aware of that. A brand new storm uh, updated with our radar brings some of the heavier rain along 178. Uh, some of the worst of this is actually skirting easily, but you're likely hearing a lot of the thunder with it. Uh, we could get some large hail, only reports of small hail so far, dime sized um, out of the core of this storm moving through Piedmont. And it's moving away from Greenville again. Should see improving conditions there, but still a heavy downpour around downtown Greenville. This will all continue to shift toward the south and west. Again, here's a closer look at the core of this thunderstorm uh, that's impacting areas just north of Pierce Town, just west of Piedmont. And again, this is where we would have the best chance of finding some of that hail within the storm, just right over I-85. Now, as we back up a bit, you can see towards Spartanburg, between Spartanburg and Greenville, we have some moderate downpours. We have some lightning strikes, but nothing severe uh, in those areas any longer. But the main concern is going to be for that heavy rain in northern Anderson County. And you can can see that we've seen a lot of improvement around Spartanburg, uh, but still the heavy rain near GSP Airport over toward downtown Greenville. A lot of lightning strikes. I mentioned that at least Spartanburg County finally losing all that thunder, but it's still all over Greenville County. Very loud thunderstorms as they continue to shift off toward the west. They basically all developed along a boundary, and once one gets going with all of this heat, it just kind of feeds itself, so more storms get going. So it started as just an isolated uh, thunder storm this afternoon blossomed into more of a complex of thunderstorms. Unfortunately, this could happen just about any day, but chances are tomorrow we're going to see mostly isolated rain. We're going with a few p.m. storms. If you're heading to the lake on Friday, warm and humid temperatures will be in the mid 80s to low 90s. So the storms we're seeing out there tonight should fade out slowly with time since we've lost all that heat of the day. Temperatures have actually gone down to 68 with all those storms in Spartanburg, 73 in Greenville, 75 five up in Asheville where it's been drier, so it's a little bit warmer up there. 76 in Anderson. So in your hour by hour forecast for tomorrow, notice temperatures will once again go pretty high near 90 degrees by 3 p.m. Could see a few storms toward the late afternoon hours. So for that reason, we're giving it an OK grade an eight on the Carolina sky meter. So it's not everyone's going to get rain, but it's going to be pretty warm and muggy. Here's a look into Friday afternoon. Storms are spotty, but they're more numerous than we've seen the last few days as we go into the afternoon. They fade out for Friday night and then Saturday. Here's the good news for those in the upstate. Looks like the storm threat's going to shift a bit farther to the north, so should be dry in the upstate and northeast Georgia. Just heard some thunder outside our studios. So we're looking mostly dry this weekend, but can't completely rule out those pop-up storms when we have this intense heat and humidity. Mid-80s to upper 80s across western North Carolina. Slight chance for rain. So again, small rain chances. They can sometimes blossom to bigger ones, kind of like what happened tonight. When you get one going, sometimes they can just completely feed a whole complex of storms. So we got to be wary about that, but that's not going to happen every day. In fact, this weekend and early next week look pretty good, and I think we'll stay mostly dry going into the 4th of July. You want to download our Fox Carolina News app. It's a good way to get these warnings and watches sent straight to your phone so that if you're maybe just out and about not paying attention to the weather, you'll know if severe weather is headed your way, guys.